first and foremost, I don't think anyone really likes to give away too much about meetings. I think they are an in-house thing. That's, they should remain like that to an extent. Um, I think this one has sort of got particular attention over the last day, it seems. Um, really, the manager just spoke um, himself. We watched the Algeria game, um, which we all knew was a disappointing performance. You know, we won't make no bones about that. It was uh, Everyone was slightly disappointed with that. And we addressed that game, and the manager addressed it. Um, it's been completely... I mean, I haven't read the reports back home, but I think it's been completely overdone in terms of crisis meeting and things like that. Um, but by the same token... Um, the meeting was up that way yesterday, but it seems to me that the manager and Franco Baldini have always been very approachable at certain times. If there was a problem, people can speak to them. But people do that in their own little ways. Uh, the meeting wasn't like that. And we've got 23 players here and everyone deals with things differently. Some people will not say too much. Some people want to hit things head on. And I think everyone appreciates that um, and people want to see a reaction. I think people were very... Um, from the, the, the messages I had yesterday were people saying, well, you know, John's saying some very positive things. So. Um, I think we'll try and hit things head on on the training ground. The thing with football, and I've been here many a time with Chelsea, many a time with England, we've, regardless of what manager I've had, you all have your up and down moments now in the world we live in now. A lot gets made and people do try and find different factions and people going against each other. And the, the truth is that that isn't the case. The truth is we're all looking for a way to turn the Algeria performance into a win on Wednesday and then really kick on in the competition. So um, the relationship is exactly the same. The manager has complete respect from everybody. Um, and I think he respects all the players here as well. We're working together. There's nothing we want more than to play against Slovenia, win and go through, give all the fans, all the nation, something to be a bit proud and happy about and then look to go much further in the tournament. And I remember sitting here sort of three months ago at Chelsea when we'd lost to Inter Milan and uh, if we were looking back now, we'd probably be pretty honest and say we didn't believe we'd win the league. Um, we didn't believe we'd do the double. Um, you know, and the players turned that round. And I think we have to look at ourselves now and think what a qualifying campaign England had the way we play, we should never forget that. Take the negatives from the Algeria game, but think more about the positives of the team, the players we've got and what we can do. And, and look around ourselves at the tournament. You know, if you look at all the other teams, you know, Brazil was fantastic last night. The South American teams have probably stood out. But other than that, there's a few big, big teams in similar positions to us. So we have to, you know, get on with it. So I don't think there's a player in the team that, that isn't under threat, and I think that's uh, the way it should be. You know, maybe uh, with your captain, you can say, or Wayne Rooney, who's obviously had a fantastic season and is, has been a talisman for us. But, but even then, I'm not sure. I think the manager is very much everyone's on an even kill and has to keep performing, and that's what keeps people on their toes. And it's not about singling out the manager or any individuals. That would be like saying, you know, Robert Green's mistake was the sole reason for a result. Of course it wasn't. The result is a collective thing, because we all walk off the pitch when we win, when we lose, when we draw. Um, and that's always the way it should be. And um, you know, I think when the manager says he makes mistakes, he's a manager. He's entitled to say that. Players do make mistakes, but hopefully you can try and limit their mistakes and win games. And that's what we'll try and do now. It's not about singling anyone out, whether it be the manager or any player now. Well, all I can say is I've really enjoyed working with him, respected everything about him. And yes, I, will be, I would like him to stay. I don't know. It's really not a question for me to speak. You know, it's for him. It's for the FA. But yeah, of course, uh, I've, worked, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic managers and Fabio Capello is right up there. And that's from working personally and looking at his record. So, you know, I respect that completely and I think a lot of people do. There wasn't a rebel gang. And I, again, um, you know, I think if the press, if the media want people to come and speak honestly, then, you know, you have to report it honestly as well. And at the end of the day, it was the lads sitting there um, talking about uh, the game uh, after Algeria. Now... For me, in football, so you discussed it then? Yeah, of course, and that's the only way I've ever known a football team to be able to recover from results. If you go go into your rooms and don't talk uh, and don't socialise, how are you supposed to actually sit down and say, well, what about when you've done that and I mm. thought I could have done better there? That's a, a completely normal thing. I think we have to play with that um, pace, with that passion that we play with at home. Um, we, are not, we don't play with a South American style. We have to be able to press teams. We have to be able to play with a lot of energy and very direct. Um, and I think we didn't quite use play like that the other night um, and that's the basics of the game for us.